we are fighting a machine that has captured the institutional framework of this country. We are fighting a machine that has unlimited money, unlimited ability to pressurize people, unlimited ability to buy people, unlimited ability to threaten people. And the outcome of that is what you have seen in Goa. Uh, the Yatra is designed to tell the people of India that they need to be united, that they need to go back to an India which was loving and affectionate to itself. I, I see uh, Kerala has been, uh, frankly, uh, overwhelming success and people have been coming out regardless of their affiliations. Um, so that is very, very encouraging. Um, the success of the Yatra is based on a couple of ideas. First idea is that a India that stands united is not at war with itself, is not angry with itself, is not full of hatred, is something that majority of Indian people appreciate and like. So that's one idea that is pushing the Yatra. There are two other ideas that are also pushing the Yatra. One is the level of unemployment that India is facing today. Devastating unemployment. And that's just not a Kerala issue, that's across the country. Uh, and the third issue is the prices, which are just skyrocketing. These are the three ideas that are pushing and encouraging the Yatra. These ideas are interconnected. There is a link between the spreading of hatred by the BJP RSS, the concentration of capital by a chosen few, and the gross unemployment that India is facing, and the massive increase in prices that India is facing. These things are connected to each other, and the people of India and the people of Kerala are beginning to realize that.